You want to see how fun and action-packed crappie fishing can be? Come on along, I'm going to show you a great time today doing a little combing the bank, doing a little vertical jigging, using a variety of jig types. We're going to catch a pile of them. In Oklahoma, you can use as many as seven poles, and so you can do a technique called combing the bank um, pretty easy because you can really fan out you know, a handful of rods. Even with a kayak, I can run three or four. Um, here in South Dakota, you're only allowed two, so it's a little harder to sweep up the bank. You know, I got them set out. Let's see if we can catch one just working up here. Close to these rocks, it's a steep drop off right here. Wow, it's a fast push from the wind. Simple. Position up, drift into them, catch them. Thank you, buddy. Pretty little female. Let you go back and do your business. Oh, jeez. That one was hanging on to it. I couldn't get my rod out from under my other rod. I get moved out of these rocks a little though. Actually, I knew I was about to catch a fish on that. They love that little swimmer. A little male there. He's just now getting all his black on his belly. You're a bitty fella, aren't you? That's the littlest crop you have caught in a while. Here, anyway. You follow is full of those. <laughs> Boy, that's a crappie. It's a good one. Certainly better than the last one, aren't you? I get my other pole swung around before it gets hung on the rocks here. Thank you, baby. They love splashing me, so every once in a while I'm gonna get some footage with water drops on it. Yeah, check the camera all the time. My glasses are already all spotted up. Comes with the territory. I have my wife Melinda out here in her kayak working the other bank. While she doesn't necessarily love being on video, she loves talking during my videos. And then each hand. So this is how you do it, baby. Yep, just a little bit of water. I'll deal with this big fish first. A big pole, rather. About the same size. A little bitty glow head on there. Always fun when that happens. Shake action, yeah, there you are. Shake it sometimes you get them. That's a nice fish there, big thick fat fillets. Been caught before, haven't you, darling? 
Maybe by me, because I threw a lot of you back. Went on the other pole again. I'll leave that one in the water. I'm starting off today with my shallow rod five feet down and my deeper rod six feet down. You may have to experiment on these depths based on the contour of your particular body of water. All right, sending you back to the drink. This other one taken care of. Looks like a male. If you're going to comb the bank, you can fish as shallow as even less than one foot of water if you use these longer rods. So it's a great technique and you don't have to put your boat or trolling motor in danger by running up too shallow because your rods extend out far enough to keep you safe. I'm going to pick the one up I get a fish in the other one. That's awesome. Another, another beautiful dark crappie. I'm using a little tiny glow jig on this pole. Head glows in the dark. Um, it's got a little swimmer body on it. Oh, I just got bit on that one. I thought I was going to have another double there. This lake only has black crappie in it. After these black crappie spawn, um, they will then move out and they'll be out in six to eight feet deep. And they're gathering up and then they're going to move off to where their summer haunts are going to be. Pretty little fella. going to set you free. Dangle method, just letting it hang in the water. Right by the edge of these rocks. Just hook yourselves, don't you, pal? It's just fish after fish. You need to be out here. Doing some lip piercings today. Oh, that pole. I have one on the other one. Trying to get it in. Getting harder to position with the waves picking up of a kayaker, especially one who actually uses a paddle. Ooh. Missed bite number one. The other pole's got a little tiny grub on it, so he's going to rise up a little too much on me, but we'll make it do the best we can. Got a little glow head on it with a swimmer tail. Oh, bite number two. I like home runs, not swinging a miss. Got that one. Shad body has been the deal. I like that profile. Another pretty crappie. Going back in the drink. It's breezy and choppy now, and um, if you really want to comb the bank doing that, um, the double jig rig is the way to go. And um, you can use heavier jigs than what I've got on today. My heaviest is a 16th ounce, and um, you'll have a lot more success that way. Some of the guys who comb the bank will run them heavy jig on top so there's another active one it's a big female 
pretty fish. And he just loaded up on it. tried it combing the bank, um, positioning yourself, multiple rods. It's a great way to find these crappies when they're out sitting out, whether they're scattered or schooled up. So give it a shot. You'll sure enjoy it. All right, we've gotten into just one more fish territory. Let's see if I can get just one more. because I'm having too much fun. It's just crazy when this bite's on. I'm about out of GoPro batteries. I'm about out of um, camera space. Let's see if I can get one last fish. We've entered one last fish territory. No. Thanks, baby. I think you're pretty amazing, too. That one. Nice one, too. <laughs> of course, I got another double. Let's deal with this one first. So I got two last fish, not one last fish. Buddy. It's awesome when you get to end on a double. It's a little bitty jig. Huh? Fish unhooked. That's a great way to end it. What a beautiful day of crappie fishing. So, got to go home and get some chores done now. Hey, we appreciate you watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks.